Well, today, millions of dollars of cocaine, meth, and guns all seized in what Banks County deputies say is their largest drug bust ever. Uh, tonight, two men from California are behind bars following a months long investigation into a drug cartel that set up shop in Banks County. Uh, Fox News' Angelique Proctor joins us live there tonight. Angelique, that was quite a haul. Quite a haul indeed, Russ. The sheriff says this is more meth than his county has ever seen before. And he says that lets him know there are other suspects out there. It can happen anywhere in small town USA. Take a look at the semi automatic weapons Banks County deputies found on two drug suspects when they pulled them over in this Mustang last week in growing Banks County. The sheriff says Interstate 85 attracts lots of drugs to his county of just over 18,000 people. But this record bust of 52.2 pounds of methamphetamine with a street value of $2.6 million was different. The drugs themselves were stamped uh, with a, uh, a label on them. Uh, we believe that it went straight back to the Mexican drug cartel. In addition to these weapons and ammunition, the sheriff says California suspects Juan Melcor Valencia and Fernando Mendez had almost seven pounds of cocaine on them and $22,000 in cash. With this type of arsenal and the amount of drugs, the county's top cop believes there are others involved in this drug trafficking operation. There's a possibility that it could, uh, it could uh, lead down the road to uh, more arrest or more information. The sheriff is thanking his special operations unit for their diligence in keeping thousands of dollars and destructive drugs off his streets. Don't come to Banks County. We're watching for you. We're going to make every effort to make sure that you ruin no one else's lives, especially the lives of our children that we're trying so desperately to prepare for the future. Now, Banks County officials did contact ICE because they believe one of their suspects, Mendez, is in this country illegally. Live in Banks County tonight, Angelique Proctor, Fox 5 News. Angelique, thanks. An update tonight.